Hey, what's going on, y'all? So, I've been getting a lot of comments on a video I did a while back ago on the free rig. And everybody's saying, hey, this thing's the exact same thing as a Texas rig. Exact thing as a Texas rig. It's just an unplugged Texas rig. So, I wanted to do a video in response to that. And I'm not arguing the fact that it is very similar to an unpegged Texas rig, but I want to see if the differences are enough to make it an absolute different rig, or is it just a copycat? Let's try to figure it out. All right, first let's go over the free rig since that's the disputed one. If you haven't seen the video on how it works, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little lowdown how you set it up. Got your fishing line, you got your main line. What you're gonna do is you are then gonna take a swivel sinker, one of these little egg-shaped sinkers with a swivel on it. it. Doesn't have to be this exact style. The main thing is, is it's supposed to have a swivel on it. Take that, you put it on your main line. All right, then you're gonna take your hook, whatever hook you wanna throw. Bait doesn't have to be on it. I just had this one pre-rigged up. Then you're gonna tie that off to your main line again. And for this, I'm just doing an improved clinch knot on here. And for the bait, all I'm using is just my favorite little plastic, which is a Zoom Z Craw. Watermelon Red Flake, if you wanted to know. And the way this works is, now you can put a bead in between if you would like. You don't have to. The way this works is kind of like an unpegged Texas rig. You got the weight right here, you got your hook, and then when it falls in, Weight goes first, then you go your bait. The big difference right now is obviously this is on a swivel sinker, so it has a lot more freedom of movement. Texas rig now, unpegged. Pretty much the same concept. You got your main line, you take, you take like a bullet style sinker. Put that sinker on your line. I'm just tying a little Palomar knot to this, just cause that's my favorite to use on braid. Get yourself one of your favorite creature, worm style baits, whatever you want, go ahead and put it on. This one, same thing, Zoom Z Crawl, except this time it's just a different color because it's what I had readily available. Texas rig it up, and here you got the bullet sits up top, right by the bait, and you got your bait down here at the bottom. A little difference is, is uh, some people, they'll peg this up so that way it could, the sinker stays right there next to the bait. Some people like to leave it free. And what the argument is, this here, this unpegged Texas rig, is the same exact thing as this free rig, just with a different sinker. So here's what the quote unquote differences are from the people that use a free rig and the people that use a Texas rig. So the free rig, the way it's supposed to differ is when you pitch it, it goes straight down, weight goes first, followed by the bait, and it'll go down exactly where you pitch it, not with a swinging motion. People that use the free rig argue that the Texas rig has a motion to it where almost like a pendulum. So you go and pitch and for whatever reason, it swings back towards you instead of going straight down where you're supposed to. I don't know how 100% accurate this is, so let's go to the tank and test it out there. As you can see there, we tested out both rigs to see what they looked like in a controlled environment of fish tank. We tried to use pretty much the same bait, the same methods that most people would use. So what did we find? Well, the Texas rig and the free rig, honestly, in my opinion, looked pretty darn similar. It was pretty close. So a lot of you people that were saying like, this is the exact same thing, honestly, you're really not that far off in my opinion. Now, the people that defend the free rig, like I said before, say it gives uh, that, that, that swivel weight gives a lot more 
range of motion and it frees up and it's a lot easier to slide up and down. And you could see that in, in the clips. You could see it moving a little bit easier, but is it worth all the effort to, you know, in this day and age where, you know, depending on how many rods you're bringing out with you to have one rod rigged up with a free rig and another rod rigged up with an unpegged Texas rig, which one would you rather bring? Or do you really have enough uh, time and effort that you want to do both because you think it makes that much of a difference in appearance? Not sure. Overall, verdict is, is pretty much whatever you want to decide. The only thing that we really couldn't test out here is what it looked like if you're launching it off from a boat. And for that, I need to take my GoPro and find an actually a pretty clear lake, which this time of the year in Louisiana, it's, it's kind of hard, at least in the, a lot of the lakes I fish kind of hard to find a good clear lake but overall that'd be the only other test that I can really think of to do is throw it in this different situations and then let's see which catches more and let's see what it looks like underwater by putting the GoPro underneath something hopefully this video is informational for you thank you so much for all the comments and everything otherwise I never would have done this video hopefully this helps you out making your decision and whether or not the free rig is something that you want to use or you just want to keep going with your unpegged Texas rig y'all have a great one artillery life out